Hello, I'm Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services, and I am here with um, a previous member. I feel like he's still a part of the team, but uh, Lewis Walden. Uh, Lewis and I, uh, many of you know Lewis. He's been a rock star in the Southern Indiana real estate community for quite some time. Uh, Lewis joined us in, I think, was it 16, Lou? Yeah, July 16. July 16. Uh, with a member, I'll never forget. I got a phone call from Lewis Walden. We had done some deals together. So I had him in my phone and he called and he says, Hey man, he says, would you have a spot for me on your team? And I was pretty well floored by it. And I was like, well, yeah, come on. You know, like <laughs> seriously, you're, you're going to, you want to come over? Cause just as a little history, Lewis had worked on uh, the premier team, which is one of the largest builders in the area. Great team leader called Carla Schaller. Uh, so like this wasn't somebody coming from, you know, had sold three houses, was just trying to sell four. Like this was a, a player, uh, that it was up and coming and doing well. And he was, he was, you know, he's talking about leaving a, a major team in the area. So Lou, I just, you know, for a, a little more history, Lou had worked with us for six years. We had set a go about two years ago. He came to me, he says, I got to go. I don't want you to be upset with me. But my family and I have decided we think we want to live in Florida. We don't know if it'll be two or three years, but that's kind of what we're going to work at. And so I was like, let's do it. Let's let's set it up. Let's do it. Let's let's make it happen. And of course, Lewis did all the work. I, I just kind of helped cheerleading from the side. But uh, so he's sitting in Florida at his new real estate office there in uh, Premier Plus uh, Luxury International in Southwest Florida. I think it's in Fort Myers. Uh, yeah, I'm at the Bonita Springs office right now, but yeah, general, same general area, Southwest Florida. So he went ahead and got his real estate license in Florida uh, while he was practicing real estate in Indiana and has actually already closed a few deals uh, yeah. in Florida. He was flying back and forth and doing what he had to do to get the, the ball rolling in Florida while his house was being built. Uh, I'll let him tell you a little bit about that. I've been down there to visit. It's beautiful. It's like a resort. And we're all just super proud of Lewis and, and having the guts to say, I'm picking my family up and we're going to live the life we're going to live. Like, we're going to do this. And I knew when he told me he was serious, this wasn't, this wasn't something he was interested in. This was something he was committed in, into doing. So, uh, and, and he did. So he's down here two years, two to three years later, he's in Florida. He's already got his house built, moved in. And I just wanted to take a little chance to talk with Lewis about his experience uh, Lewis and I talk real, real together. We don't, we don't hide things from each other. We, we tell each other like it is, you know, if it's good or it's bad or if it's an ugly truth, whatever it is, we, we talk about it. So just wanted to take a, some time to get maybe a little reflection back over the last six years, how it was to work together from Lewis's side for mine. It's been wonderful. Um, but just to let him tell you a little bit about how it was and, um, what, you know, how he got to where he's at now, I guess. So yeah. I'll, I'll let Lewis talk and I'll, I'll quit for a little bit. <laughs> no, you're fine, Jeremy. Um, really, I had an amazing experience with uh, the Jeremy Ward team and uh, with Ward Realty Services. We were with Remax for a while before you opened your own brokerage. And uh, I called you and at the time, you know, I was kind of going through some personal issues. And, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I think sometimes and one of the reasons that I had at the time, one of the reasons I had picked up the phone and called you is, you know, I, I just knew that you were a heavy hitter in the area and that um, you would have the team structure that I needed at the time um, to really uh, push my career forward. And uh, I'm so glad that I picked up the phone, made that phone call. Um, it was absolutely uh, amazing the support that I got. And um, you weren't only there as like a, like a team leader and then later as a broker, but uh, also as a, a personal friend. And, uh, you know, so that, that's just, those are the things you never forget. And um, you also never forget somebody that is your cheerleader, even sometimes when you don't believe in yourself. Um, so, you know, those are things that you, you just you just don't forget. You know, Lewis, it was uh, I see so much of myself in you. And we've we've talked about this before. Lewis and I actually it's such a small world. We grew up as kids within a few blocks uh, yeah. from each other in, in in the South End. 
yeah. in Louisville. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, 30, 40 years later, we're driving over to Louisville and he's like, well, that's where I used to live. And I was like, well, man, I only lived like three blocks up that way. So we had a lot of <clears throat> similarities, I think, in background and experiences. And really Lewis helped me just as much as I helped him. Like we were, we were breaking through ceilings together. Yeah. And uh, we kind of helped each other get pumped up and, yeah. and rock out the real estate. And uh, it, it's like I say, from my side of it, it's been amazing, just an amazing experience to see you grow and what you've become and what you've been able to do. And uh, I mean, it's just been six years. And I, I mean, gosh, it seems like we lived a lifetime together <laughs> learning, we're learning really, this uh, stuff. <laughs> we said, man, we've run through fire together, man. We really have. Yeah. And yeah. It, we, we did some amazing things in that six years. We, we, 1,200 so, homes. <laughs> real estate sold. It was incredible. Um, but, you know, I, I credit that you, you definitely had the tools that I needed at the time. Because I was a good agent before I came to you. But I wasn't a great agent yet. You took me to that next level. And you told me how to. You just didn't say, oh, I was great or whatever. And threw some leads at me. You're like, hey, you know. Here's our marketing. Here is, uh, you know, you taught me the Tom Ferry Network, which I thought was just amazing. Because what's amazing about that is I started feeding off the agents that were in that network from different parts of the country. I mean, that was something that was new to me that opened my eyes. Um, you know, it gets you outside of your box of uh, Southern Indiana real estate, you know, and uh, it makes you see a bigger picture. Yeah, you see what's really out there. I know you, you'd you went to Boston, I think mm -hmm. it was, um, and said, you know, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to learn, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to crush it. Yeah. And you did, and you came back, and I remember you met some of the, you know, top agents in that area, and when I would go to events, they were like, hey, where's Lewis? How's Lewis doing? You know, they yeah. still remembered you. And, uh, and a couple of them, I think you, you stayed on the phone with them like every morning at seven 30 or eight o'clock, I'd see you come in the office and you'd be talking to, you know, that agent, I can't remember his name, but you all be playing off each other, practicing. And it was just a, a seen you dive in. Like you took, you, you were willing to take everything you could get and, 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 you know, learn it. And, uh, man, I, I hope all agents see that, that they're capable and they're worth it and that. You know, they can do whatever they want to do, really. It, it's it's up to them. Sometimes life, sometimes life is a leap of faith, you know. It was a leap of faith when I came to your team. It was a leap of faith to go to Tom Ferry, which at the time I had about, you know, 12 cents in the bank. Yeah, you know, I remember. It, it, was just, it was nuts, you know, and I had some other bills and things that were going on at the time. Unfortunately, all that's behind me. And, uh, you know, but no, I mean, a lot of it, it was a leap of faith, but, at the same time, Jeremy had the team and the structure already built up. So, I mean, it was, uh, it was there for the taking, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times with the leads, you know, he put is like putting it on a T-ball tee and I just <laughs> knock it out of the park. And yeah. Not with. Tell um, our, our audience a little more. You talk about this, the, the tools and the support. What, what was that for you? What were those tools? And what kind of support did you receive? I mean, other than just me. When we had those three, ad, like when we had three, when getting three admins was a huge help. And then you, they, it wasn't just like one person that was kind of overwhelmed with buyers and sellers and doing all the marketing and this and that. We had somebody for sellers. We had somebody for buyers. Um, and then when you open your own brokerage, you had some money for the brokerage side. And then um, Jen Allen was the office manager. So we had that going on. So it was very structured. And uh, that, that was honestly one of the biggest game changers for me personally, because now I had someone that could really help me as far as uh, answering emails or, you know, uh, the occasional agent call that would come in or something, or if I needed them to, if I was out showing property and I couldn't get an addendum out for four hours, I didn't have to sit there and sweat about it. I just, hey, can you, you know, send this out for me, you know? Take care of it. Yeah. Take care of it. Yeah, I remember, I remember you saying, you know, not too long ago, maybe a year or two ago, that, that I have, you said, I figured out the support that's here and I'm using it. I'm using yeah. it. I'm going to use it to my betterment. I was like, 
please do. You know, we pay these ladies because they're, we pay them well because they're very good. Like we've got some top notch uh, assistance and you did right. this, like you leveraged that assistance uh, and admins to, so you could go do more. Yeah, I had to figure out, figure out to give up a little so control. Mm -hmm. is, you know, it's almost one of those things where I'm, you think you're so good, you can't trust anybody because no one will do it as good as you. And I mean, there is a sum to that to an extent, but honestly, you can't, you can't maximize your production like that. You just can't. Well, I, mean, I, I realized early on that I, you know, I thought I was the best at, at everything, but I started learning to hire my weaknesses. And the more I did that and seeing how well they did, I was like, yeah, it might've not been as good as I thought it was in some of these areas. <laughs> oh, no doubt. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what I did when I joined the German Ward team is I did hire my weaknesses. Okay, mm -hmm. well, well I, yeah. you know, I wasn't very good at putting spreadsheets and marketing together. Well, there you go. Or Done. Well, I can, I mean, I could run just, you know, a, a market analysis, but at the same time, you know, the how it looked, looked kind right. of funny when I would do it, you know, yeah, I learned those tools, you know, um, you know, I learned, I learned so much and, um, it wasn't only the marketing, but, um, there, there were just so many other things, the ins and outs of real estates that, that, that I learned from, from the team. It was just, it's just an amazing experience. Well, and I could tell as you matured in the team and you kind of worked your way up to a leader in the team, then you kind of carried that, that torch for a lot of the, the younger ones that were coming in. I can remember you will have a team meeting and you'd be like, can I say something? And we're like, absolutely. And you'd like, you know, Sally, Sue, John, I've been there. I've done that. Yeah. Here, here's, here's what my outcome was doing it this way. Here's what my outcome was when I started learning to do it this way. And, um, you know, I think that's the thing about a team is the camaraderie. Uh, we take care of each other. We're, we're not stealing from each other rare for each other and together we're you know as a team we're a lot more solid a lot stronger than one individual can be and i think with that core group we have like we were really strong um we we, we know that we can count on each other and like we we were ready to kill it like we were just bringing on you know we'll, we'll do it like you need it sold we can do it and i think our best year was 2020 in covid Oh, I as know. Our sales, and we really nice. like, you know, some of us uh, for health conditions and stuff couldn't go out and sell, where others we could. And at the end, end of the day, we all worked together and we all had a good year. And I think that's the thing that excites me most about a team mm -hmm. uh, with real estate is it's so important, especially anymore with all the needs that people have and, and the, the like in the market we're in. It's it's got to be done fast. There's there's no waiting around. There's no thinking about it. <clears throat> you got to have somebody like Lewis that you can trust. And if he tells you to write on that house, you write. And then Lewis knocks it out of the park from there, you know. I never felt like my the people on our team were competitors. And that's extremely important. If you're on a team where you feel like you're competing against people on your own team, you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, not a good atmosphere. <laughs> not only really did I feel like we were coworkers, I also felt like, you know, a lot of times that we were family. Mm hmm. I don't know if you'll get, you, you just won't get that everywhere. I mean, yeah. Um, that's, I feel like more, we've got such a strong group, um, loyal group and family. I mean, it's just, it's like a big family gathering at a team meeting and we're all open and honest and uh, we work through issues, whether it be personal or, mm -hmm. or uh, professional. Yeah. And um, I don't know, Lewis, if there was an agent out there that was, trying to make a decision on, you know, where to go in the future and, and you know, maybe where to, to, you know, with us buying so many leads, it does help um, if you, you know, convert them leads and adds to the business you already have. Like, yeah. what would you be your advice to an agent out there that, that would be considering either joining the team or the brokerage? Like, what would you, what would your advice be to them? My advice would be to uh, soak up everything that is provided by the team because that's when I really took off. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, it's when I had a little peace of mind because for yeah. I was pretty neurotic for a long time. And yeah, I could bump out a lot of transactions, but I didn't have much of a peace of mind. Yeah. And it wasn't until I really relied on the tools that the team afforded me till 
has a pretty calm, cool, and collective agent, put it that way. Yeah, no, I, I could see it. You know, once you kind of gripped it, like everything was in, you was in your zone and you knew how much you were going to do, what you were willing to do and not going to do. And you yeah. took some time for yourself, you know, well, and, I, and, I, and you need that. Yeah. And I mean, uh, sometimes you have to know your own limitations. I mean, and it, I don't mean that in, I don't mean that in a way to, to limit anybody, but I just mean in the fact of, you know, if you get to become an agent where you sell a lot and there's somebody that you just don't think would be a good fit, at least acknowledge that weakness and go on and refer that out to someone else. Yeah, absolutely. It's okay to be able to say no every once in a while to, a, to somebody that you're not feeling comfortable with, you yeah. know, and it's probably better for them as well. I mean, if you're not feeling comfortable, you're doing them a favor because there's a match for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so, no, I think, and it's hard as an agent, you know, like we want to take every deal we can. We want to do the best job we can. And I think you and I, when we couldn't please a person, it, it, that rejection, that stings, you know, because you want to make everybody happy. And, it, it, you know, I don't know that that's possible in this world. <laughs> it's not. You want to get 99% of them happy. I always try to, you know, treat every person the same and make sure everybody gets the same good service and, all that, but sometimes it just, you can tell it's just you're it's too different, or you got two different ideas of you know what's going to happen in the transaction or something, and it's it's okay to refer those folks out. It's, yep, and that's the cool thing about a team is because yeah. you know, hey, you know, I can't get with you today, but my partner Dave here will take great care of you. You know, let me hook you up with him, and we'll get this taken care of you with no no you know no time wasted. Like we're going to get right on it. And so I think that's been some of the most exciting things for me with the team is watching the agents grow and, you know, seeing them take those tools, take the admins, you, you know, leverage that and the personal growth, like seeing them, you're an example, you know, of, of reaching a, a major goal and, and, and acting on it, you know, and moving to Florida and, and thriving to, you know, others, maybe just trying to, you know, pay off a car or a, Sure. you know, buy their first home. And I've got to, I've got to uh, help with that. And it, that's been amazing for me to, as a broker. So, yeah, I think, I think that's probably, if there was a special thing about our um, mission statement and goes is that like, we take care of our clients and we take care of each other and try to take care of ourselves. Uh, Absolutely. And it's just, it works that way. Uh, it can't be me, me, me. <laughs> no, so, no. Um, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day and just kind of sharing your experience of the team and the support and what you experienced. And I'm hoping that maybe this will help an, an agent that's trying to make a decision whether to maybe join our team, another team, or, or go out on their own if it helps somebody. But, uh, you know, and I think Lewis would say, if you, you know, you probably know him. Uh, if you're in a Southern Indiana market, call the guy. He knows a lot. Like he's, he's been through a few things. And if you want to reach out to me personally, my number is 239-300-1449. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, I'll give you the, the honest scoop. I really will. And, but what I can definitely say is uh, Jeremy has helped me in more ways than I can even think of on camera. He's helped me in more ways than I can even come up with, that I can even think of. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here and I'm on camera. I mean, the guy really has helped me in so many ways. And, and like, I'm, I'm just so grateful for the relationship that I have with him and with uh, Ward Realty and the fact that he would support me and basically lose his top agent and still support me and uh, support my family through this move is just an amazing testament to his character. Thank you, Lou. I mean, <clears throat> feel the same way about you and uh you, you you've done the same and, and i felt like it was a team effort like yeah we all it wasn't just me and like everybody else was upset that lewis was getting ready to go live in the resort area like everybody got behind lou because that's the right thing to do and they knew lewis's heart like that was what his family wanted to do and he and let me tell you he worked hard like this this just just happened like he was selling 65 to 70 deals a year and, you know, in Southern Indiana, we're not selling million dollar homes. Yeah. You know, we have probably had an average of 175 over the last six years, you know, uh, in sales price. And so it took a lot of, a lot of sales, 
uh, to get him where he's at. And there were several things he had to overcome during that, and he did. So I think Lewis, if there's anybody out there that feels like, you know, they can't do it, it's just too impossible. If you know Lou, give him a call. Like the, the dude's done some things that he's overcome several mountains. Yeah. And it wasn't nothing bad or anything he done wrong. It was just, hey, life throws you curveballs at a time or two, you know. And uh, he just kept working and kept kept pushing. And, and he's sitting in Florida right now, guys. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good work, man. If anybody ever wants to talk, uh, you know, I'm always there. Awesome. Well, Lou, I really appreciate you, man. I don't want to keep you all day. Um, I'm going to just end up with uh, end this with congratulations on your new home. Thank you. Your, your new profession in, in real estate in Florida. Thank you. So much. Uh, and we're all cheering you on and, and can't wait to see how this year ends out for you. And uh, 2022 will be here in no time. So it'll be time to set goals again. So I'll be anxious to hear what you what you got set up. But buddy, we appreciate you. And uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks, Jeremy. You're welcome.